First at 5.30, new developments in the case of a squalid home in Blackstone, Massachusetts, where the bodies of three babies were found. A man who lived in the basement of the home on St. Paul Street is telling his side of the story. Raymond Rivera says he was unaware of the conditions his children were living in when they were taken into state custody back in August. A visibly shaken Rivera made the comments following a brief court appearance today on marijuana-related charges. And tonight, we're hearing more of what he had to say. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in studio now with the new developments. Well, it was really just tough to watch. Raymond Rivera just couldn't stop shaking in court and after his hearing. This was the first time we heard his story and his version of what happened. Shaking, tears streamed down Raymond Rivera's face inside an Uxbridge courtroom. But he's not charged for the conditions inside the so-called Blackstone House of Squalor. His girlfriend, Erica Murray, is. She lived in those conditions while he lived downstairs and says that he had no idea until they were kicked out of the house in August. I picked up Erica on the side of the road. I stayed at her parents' house and I found out from... Of members of authority on Tuesday afternoon. Rivera lived in the basement of the now torn down house. He's facing a few drug charges for allegedly having a marijuana plant in his apartment, but upstairs is a completely different story. Pictures of the living conditions were just released last week. Authorities discovered deceased infants among the trash. The Department of Children and Families took custody of four children living in the home. Rivera says he only knew two were his. <laughs> I was crushed that she would do that. I never saw the infant at all. And I knew she was at least babysitting the older one, and I saw her once. But that was it. He had a tough time answering questions from reporters and left saying he was crumbling. Uh, I, honestly, I can't do it anymore. I'm crumbling. I'm crumbling. He told the judge he quit his job and he took money from his retirement funds that he can hire an attorney. Rivera says he no longer has a place to live. And Rivera will be back in court in December. Murray will be back in court in January. She's being held on a million-dollar cash bail. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.